Chairs, tiny chairs, like for comfortable clothes. Okay. How about you, Perla, Daniela? I like the word shorts. Yes. Excellent. Correct. Okay, well, um, now I'm going to play the audio. Okay. You're going to listen to these people. We have Keijo, Rick, and Luisa. Okay. They are answering this question. What kinds of clothes do you like to wear? I'm going to play the audio, so you are going to listen to the audio, and at the same time, you're going to follow the information in your books. Okay, so let's listen to this part. Page 76, Page 76. Unit 8, Shopping. Shopping, Lesson A, Lesson Clothes, Clothes. 1. Getting started. A. Listen. What kinds of clothes do Kayo, Rick, and Luisa usually wear? What kinds of clothes do you like to wear? Kayo Noguchi, 16, high school student. Well, we don't have to wear uniforms at our school, so I like to wear pants, a t shirt, and sneakers. Rick Govia, 27, accountant. I have to wear a suit and tie to work. After work, I just want to go home and put on jeans and an old sweater. You know, something comfortable. Louisa Vandermeer, 32, advertising executive. I like to wear designer clothes because I need to look good for work. So I usually wear so I usually dressy wear pants dressy or a nice skirt, skirt with a jacket and a silk blouse. And silk oh, and of course, oh, high of heels. Course, high heels. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, well, according with the information that you listened to, so let's start with person number one, Keijo. What kinds of clothes does she like to wear? She likes to wear, okay? To wear pants, t shirts, and sneakers, correct? How about Rick? He wears jeans and an old sweater, okay? Jeans and an old sweater. And Luisa. I like or she, she likes to.
she likes, correct? She likes to wear designer clothes, okay? Okay, guys, you are correct. Um, let's see, do you have questions about vocabulary here? No, no, no questions with vocabulary. Okay. Okay, let's look at this part. Um, for example, Keyo says, I like to wear pants. Rick. Rick says, I have to wear a suit and tie to work. And after work, work he wants to go home and put on some jeans, okay? Luisa says, I like to wear designer clothes, okay? She says, I need to look good. So we have here some verbs plus a preposition. So I'm gonna explain this part before going to the second page. Okay, this is like this. Well, here I have uh, four examples. Uh, pay attention here. Like to, have to, need to, want to, okay? Here we have four verbs, like, have, need, and want. If you pay attention, we're using the preposition to with those verbs. So that means that every time you are using these verbs, you need to use the preposition to with them. Like to, have to, need to, want to, okay? They are always together. Well, number one, I like to wear jeans. As you know, we're going to use like to to talk about our likes, okay? Things that you enjoy. I like to wear jeans. Um, I like to go to the movies. I like to eat pizza, okay? So I'm talking about my likes. Have to, we're going to use it for obligations, to talk about obligations. Here I'm saying I have to wear my uniform for work. So this is my obligation, to wear my uniform. I have to. Another example could be um, I have to clean my room. I have to do the laundry, okay? I have to check your homework, okay? So I'm talking about obligations. Number three, need to, is for necessity, okay? Or necessities. Here I'm saying I need to get new shoes. For me, it's a necessity because the ones that I have, they are very old. So I need to get new shoes. Is for example, when you go to the supermarket to get some food, you can say, I need to get some food from the supermarket. Yes, we're talking about food and, you know, eating, well, it's a necessity. Yes, we need to eat. Or I need to sleep eight hours. Okay, one more time, we're talking about a necessity. And number four, one, two, one, two is for desires. Things that you want to do at that time, but maybe you don't know, you are not sure if you are gonna do it or not. For example, right now, I want to go out, but I can't, yes? And I guess now all of you want to go out, okay? 
but that's impossible for us. We can say, I want to go out. Or for example, when you are at school, taking your classes, and maybe you are tired, very sleepy, and you are just thinking, oh, I want to be at home, yes? So, so you have a desire, I want to be at home. I want to be sleeping, okay? So we're talking about desires. Or like, for example, when you're talking about your plans for the weekend, you can talk with your friends and say things like, oh, this next Sunday, I want to go to the movies with my sister. I want to go to Galeria Sacapulco, yes. I want to have dinner with my family. So we're talking about our desires, okay? So do you understand this part, guys? Yes, yes. Okay, so let's practice with number one. Uh, number one, we're talking about our likes. Once again, I like to wear jeans. I like to eat chocolate. Yes, I like to drink coffee. Those are my likes. Can you tell me just one example, guys, about your likes? It could be about clothes, food, hobbies, TV shows. I don't know. I like to see movies, correct? I like to eat tacos. Yes, me too. I like to. Only you need to complete Perla. Remember, after two, we need to use a verb. Here I have where, I have get, I have go. So I like to only change the order, Perla. I like to eat. Yes, I like to eat. Correct. Okay, number two, let's talk about obligations. I'm saying I have to wear my uniform for work. How about you? I have to, to do the laundry. Okay, Diana, I have to do the laundry. I have to do my homework, correct, please? I have to do the laundry. Excellent, Diana, I have to do the laundry. All right. Number three, necessities. I need to get new shoes. How about you? I need to get the tennis. Okay. Tennis or sneakers. Uh -huh. to get new watches or a new watch? How many do you need, Luis? I need to get, I need to get a new car, Diana, a new car, a new watch, correct. I need to get a new car. Yes, excellent. Number four, desires. I want to go out. How about you?
I want to go. I want to go on vacation, Perla. I want to play soccer. Yes, I want to. I want to exercise with my sister. Okay. Only like that. I want to exercise with my sister. Yes, correct, Diana. Okay, so let's continue with the student book. Well, let's do the exercise B, okay? Exercise B says circle the words to make true sentences about the people above. Yes, so we have three sentences. So in your books, circle the correct words Please, it's according with the information that you have in your reading. Okay, so let's do it, please, in your books, circle the correct word. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, uh, let's see. Luis, uh, what do you have for number one? Has to or doesn't have to? Correct, number two, Daniela. Wants to? or doesn't want to. Wants to. And Diana, number three, needs to or doesn't need to. Excellent. Okay, now let's move to the next page. Okay, so here we have the grammar chart in the exercise two. It says like to, want to, need to, and have to. Once again, we have the verbs, four verbs. Remember, we need to use them with the preposition to. Well, I'm going to read information in your grammar chart. So over there at home, you can repeat after me. Okay, so we're going to start with the information questions. What kinds of clothes do you like to wear? I like to wear casual clothes. I don't like to wear suits. What do you want to wear tonight? I want to wear my new outfit. 
I don't want to wear my old dress. Do you have to wear a suit to work? Yes, we do. We have to wear a suit and tie. No, we don't. We don't have to wear a suit. Do you need to buy new shoes? Yes, I do. I need to get some sneakers. No, I don't. I don't need to buy new shoes. Do you have questions about the grammar chart? No, no, no. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, now uh, let's do the exercise A. Okay, exercise A says make true sentences, then compare with a partner. You're going to complete these sentences using the verbs in parentheses and your personal information. For example, number one, we have like to. This is an example. I don't like to wear jeans all the time. But if you like to wear jeans, well, you're going to use an affirmative sentence. I like to wear jeans all the time. So that's what you're going to do. Okay, complete the sentences with the words in parentheses and your personal information, okay? So let's complete the sentences in your books, guys. Okay, Luis is ready. Who else? I have only Luis. Okay. 
Okay, Diana is ready. Daniela and Perla. Yes, Daniela and Perla are ready. Okay. Well, number one, well, this is an example. I don't like to wear jeans all the time. So, Luis, in your personal information, what do you have in number one? I like or I don't like. Number one. So you don't like to wear jeans. Okay, number two, Daniela. Our teacher. Really? A suit? Okay, remember, this is a suit, okay? Picture number two. This is a suit. So once again, our teacher. Yes, doesn't have to. Number three, Diana, the students in this class. Don't have to, correct. Number four, Perla, I. I don't want to, correct. Number five, Luis, my parents. Don't like to, excellent. Number six, Daniela, I. I don't need to, okay? Number seven, Diana, my best friend. Okay, once again, uh, Diana, remember, this is a third person of singular. You have to use likes. Okay, singular, my best friend likes to shop for clothes, okay? And number eight, Perla, we... Don't need to work. Correct. Excellent, guys. This was very easy. Okay, part B says try five questions. Uh, we're gonna do this part for homework, okay? Exercise B is going to be part of your homework. Right? And here you have to write five questions with like to, want to, need to, or have to. Only five questions in total, okay? I don't want you to write five questions with like to, or five questions with want to, five questions with need to, uh-uh, no. Only five questions, okay? Five questions in total. You have an example, do you like to wear suits? Uh, do you want to go out? Do you need to get some food? for example, just five questions. But this is gonna be part of your homework, okay? Part B is for homework. So now let's go to the exercise three. Okay, exercise three, it says speaking naturally. Want to and have to. 
Well, as you can see inside the box, uh, we have two sentences and two questions. And you have this information. Can you see this information above the sentences? Yes. Well, uh, this is about the pronunciation, okay? For example, number one, it says, I want to buy some new clothes. But here, instead of saying, I want to, we're going to say, I wanna, okay? That is going to be the pronunciation, wanna. Want to, no, okay, not this time, wanna. One more time, I wanna buy some new clothes. Question, what do you wanna buy? Remember, instead of saying want to, we're going to say wanna. One more time, I wanna buy some new clothes and what do you wanna buy? For the second part, again, you have here the sound, okay? Instead of saying I have to, we're going to say have to. Okay, that is the pronunciation, have to. Example, I have to buy some new clothes. Question, what do you have to buy? Yes, one more time. I have to buy some new clothes. What do you have to buy? So let's review one more time. I wanna buy some new clothes. What do you wanna buy? And I have to buy some new clothes. What do you have to buy? Okay, guys? So I'm gonna play the audio on this part. I want you to listen, okay, listen and follow the sentences and the questions in the box. I'm gonna play the audio twice, okay? The first time, just listen, only listen. The second time, you're going to listen and you're going to repeat there at home. Okay, are you ready? Remember, the first time, just listen. The second time, you're going to listen and you're going to repeat. So, are you ready? Page okay, so, pay attention. Three, speaking naturally. Wanna and have to. A, listen and repeat the sentences above. Notice the reduction of wanna and have to. I want to buy some new clothes. What do you want to buy? I have to buy some new clothes. What do you have to buy? Okay. So one more time. Uh, this time, listen and repeat. They're at home, please. Page 77. Three. Three. Speaking naturally. Speaking naturally. Wanna, Wanna and have to. And have to. A. Listen and repeat the sentences above. Notice the reduction of wanna and have to. I want to buy some new clothes. What do you want to buy? I have to buy some new clothes. What do you have to buy? Do you have questions about this part, guys? No, no, no. Okay, excellent. So you said you have questions. Well, now uh, let's move to the exercise B. Okay. In exercise B, we have four pairs of questions, okay? Here it says, listen and repeat these questions. So we're gonna do the same. I'm gonna play the audio. We're gonna do it twice again, okay? I'm gonna play the audio twice. The first time, just listen. Remember, we are in the exercise B. 
only listen this time to listen and you're going to repeat that at home okay so now let's continue with exercise b one more time remember the first time just listen second time listen and repeat page 77 three speaking naturally wanna and have to b listen and repeat these questions do you have to go shopping this week where do you have to go do you have to buy any new clothes what do you have to get you have to get do you want to spend a lot of money? How much do you want to spend? Do you want to go to a designer store? Which stores do you want to go to? Okay, one more time. Uh, listen and repeat this time. Page 77, three, speaking naturally, wanna and have to, B, listen and repeat these questions. Do you have to go shopping this week? Where do you have to go? Do you have to buy any new clothes? What do you have to get? Do you want to spend a lot of money? How much do you want to spend? Do you want to go to a designer store? Which stores do you want to go to? Okay, questions about this part? No, 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 no. Okay, well, we're going to do this. Um, well, as I said before, part B is going to be the homework, okay? Part B is going to be the homework, only write down the questions okay just the questions uh, this part again b is going to be homework too okay exercise b uh you are going to send me your audios for the exercise b you are going to read your questions and answer them using your personal information. For example, number one, do you have to go shopping this week? Where do you have to go? I have to go to Walmart. I need to get some food, okay? Something like that. Do you have to buy any new clothes? What do you have to get? Mm, I have to get some sneakers, okay? Something like that. So exercise B, remember, you're going to send me your audios to the group. Remember that tomorrow we don't have a class. Yes. Today is the last class and we're going to come back next Monday. All right. So you have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You have four days off. So you have enough time to do this homework. So you can do it tomorrow, maybe on Friday, okay, Saturday, I don't know. So, well, as you can see with this exercise, we're finishing with the lesson A. In lesson A, as you can see here in the grammar chart, we are using again the simple present, okay? And we are using some vocabulary about clothes, so before 
finishing the class, can you tell me what did you learn today? What did you learn today in this lesson? I'd like to need to have to. Yes, correct. Okay, vocabulary close, simple present. Uh huh. Yes, you're right. Let's see who's typing. Uh -huh, yes, pronunciation for one, two, and have to, yes. We can use wanna and have to. Okay, guys, so remember, uh, here we have two common words, uh, only the questions. Okay, so you're going to write down your five questions in your notebooks. Uh, part B, you're going to send me your audios, reading these questions and answering these questions with your personal information. And also, we have the workbook. The lesson A. Okay, this is the lesson A in your workbook. As you can see, the first part, the first page, you have a crossword puzzle. So you're going to complete the crossword puzzle with vocabulary related to words, to clothes, I'm sorry. And here on the second page, well, you have two conversations. You're going to complete the conversation using the words in parentheses. And part three, you are going to write the questions in the correct order and you have to answer the questions too. Okay, guys, well, that's it for today. Thank you for coming. So we'll be, we'll be, uh, we're, we're going to come back next Monday. Remember, next Monday here at 6 p.m. So don't forget to send me your homework, please, your audios. And remember, if you have questions, if you have doubts about the class or about the homework, you can send me a text message. OK, guys? Yes. Okay, guys, so have a nice week, a beautiful weekend. Stay at home. Please be safe and see you next Monday, okay? So bye-bye. Thank you for coming. See you. Have a nice evening, too. Bye.